Thorpe's um, uh, objective was to process oxide fuels um, from around the world. That meant that we had fuel designs across a wide range uh, of chronological dates uh, from a wide number of countries and from a wide number of design, uh, uh, design houses. So it really meant we had a Heinz 57 of fuel types and Thorpe had to cope with them all. So there had to be a lot of flexibility built into the design. We stored, sheared, dissolved, separated out waste products, separated out uranium, separated out plutonium. That's it. That's what it does. But it was very much a 24-7, uh, 365 days a year plant, you know. And when I worked in Thorpe, it, it, it always seemed really, really quiet. It was such a well-designed, engineered and built facility, uh, and it was all automatically operated from, from the control room. Um, it, it, y y you seemed to rarely see people, and you would take visitors around, and they would always say the same thing. You know, where is everybody? Well, um, we were operating it and we were delivering what we said. As with any large nuclear complex, uh, most of the equipment that you operate uh, is behind shielded walls. You can't access most of it. Uh, you can't, certainly can't get hands-on with uh, the vast majority of it. That brings with it a significant challenge which, although not unique, it, it certainly is uh, rare in, in industry. Um, yes, you do have high, other high hazard aspects in different industries, but, uh, but our problem set is such that it can make what are initially relatively simple problems much more difficult to, to resolve. We did have a significant event in Thorpe back in 2005 uh, where we lost a lot of um, uh, dissolver liquor, so highly active liquor, into one of the cells. Now, not a becquerel of that got out of the plant and not a member of the workforce was affected by that. And that just shows you the, the engineering that went into protecting people and maintaining that excellent safety record that it had. So even at that point of adversity and that challenge, the plant and its secondary system did exactly what it was supposed to do. The feed clarification cell event was a turning point for Thorpe and many didn't think it would ever restart again. Thorpe is a complex facility and if you go on it, it looks oh, five year old on the surface. But once you scratch into some of the engineering and the process, it becomes obvious that it's done some hard work and you know oxide material is very corrosive, it's very abrasive, it's given us some real challenges over the years. Um, it's been a workhorse for the site and I think it's served as well.